So I'm in Tesla calls here, 255. So I'm thinking if it can break through this 246.76 level, then it could potentially come up to this level here. And if it gets through that, well, then it's game on, right? Game on. It's been chopping around in this little box here. Does it want to break out today? Does it want to break out today? Good volume coming in here. I don't see any selling. Strong, just new highs. Okay, so far so good. Just got two calls, that's it. Small position. It's a hot market, it's a hot market. Could easily see it, see it start to fade here as it's coming near this level. Cause you, you know, I got the wick, I got the wick on that here. Let's go back to 65. I've got the wick, but yeah, it's, it's really like even down to this zone here, the bodies, if you include the bodies in there. So it's finding a little bit of resistance. But what I'm looking for is an escalator strategy today where it pops up sideways, up, nice little drift back. I mean, you can see it on the one minute here. Nice little drift back, sideways, another up move. So just consistent legs up and then sideways to slightly down consolidations that don't uh, that stay above the previous, preferably the previous high. So see, ran up. Nice little cup, broke out, came back, tested this high here, one, two, three times, and then boom. Now it's breaking above that high. But every time it goes through a level, see, now it's gonna find resistance here. So, now up 21% on those, that's a pretty good gain. Get ready to take some profit here if it fails, which is not. So it's turning blue. Blue's good on a one minute. We're seeing new high, new high, new high. It's just consistently putting in new highs here. Volume's kind of dried off a little bit. Yeah, see it, there it is. There it is, hitting that resistance. So it's starting to slow down, which is normal. I mean, it, you know, you had your leg. And for it to pull back a little bit would mean really nothing at this point. So another way to look at this, just clear all this out of here. It's pulling back here, it pulled back. $1.59. And then when it broke out from there, it went up 88 cents. Then it pulled back. Uh, $1.13. And then when it broke out, $1.62. So it's, it's kind of made, made a measured move already. I, I'm going to get out of this completely. Seven. Just close it out, call it a day. Now, it's probably gonna continue higher, but with options, you just cannot afford to, to wait around those. And I don't even like to trade options. The only reason I'm even doing this video is simply because uh, it's like, I'm already done with my swing trades. Like, I already got my positions in. I've got this, HR, everything's already done, it's boring. So I have this stupid options trading account with like very little money in it. And I can do stuff like that, make videos like these. But you should not ever trade options and just focus on stocks.